Hey everyone, this is Ryan Winchester here coming at you guys with another video today. And today is a, is a very, very uh, sad day in the wrestling community. Um, matter of fact, in the past 24 hours, it's been not to, uh, not the good, not the greatest news to uh, hear. Um, and just recently we lost uh, Terry Funk, a uh, hardcore icon an ECW legend in itself. Terry Funk uh, was somebody that we just lost recently, matter of fact, yesterday. Um, and then the news broke out today, matter of fact, while I was working, um, that I am generally still shaking up about, as you can tell from the t-shirt, uh, we lost Bray Wyatt. And it is still something that sends shivers down my spine just saying that out loud and just going through all the pain this man has been in. He's been in so much pain recently. He's been sick. He's been trying to build himself up to get back to where he needs to be at not just in wrestling, but in life in general. We lost a, a, a fantastic individual by the name of Winham Rotunda, AKA Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt, he was a very, very interesting person in the wrestling industry. He ended up being the most creative, most humble, the most genuine person that you will ever, ever, ever come across in the wrestling industry. Many fans were very into Bray Wyatt's career. He, 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 he went through it all. From the very moment Bray Wyatt stepped foot into WWE with Eric Rowan, Luke Harper, and then eventually Braun Strowman, and then he, he took Randy Orton under his wing as well. He, he ended up teaming with Matt Hardy at one point. I mean, Bray Wyatt did it all. Being The Fiend, being a part of the Firefly Funhouse, The Fiend was one of the most iconic alter egos you'll ever see in a wrestling company. The, the Fiend was just something else, man. The Fiend is, was just an amazing presence in itself because we had no idea what to expect when that music hit. And when we saw it was Bray Wyatt under the mask, you knew this was something special. Bray Wyatt had so much fun being not just the person that he was in the wrestling industry, but just overall, just being a part of World Wrestling Entertainment. The man had so much fun. He did everything that he could to entertain us all. And we will never forget that. A spontaneous person, an amazing talent for all the wrestlers to work with in the locker room backstage and creative, everything. Bray Wyatt did everything. When he first came into the Wyatt family, we knew this was something special. And I'll be honest, I wasn't really big of a fan at that time, but it started to grow on me when The Shield got involved and The Shield and the Wyatt family saga officially entered into that specific timeline. When you had the Shield, when you had the Wyatt family, and they feuded together, it was an absolute fucking masterpiece. We all loved it. The fans adored it. The matches, the promos, the hype, the build-up, everything leading up to it. The feud between the Shield and the Wyatt family was fantastic. And I'm, I'm just, I'm genuine, I'm genuinely proud to say that, you know, I got to see that while Bray Wyatt was here on earth while he was still living. Um, and I know it's one of the best feuds to date. 
Um, the Shield is one of the best factions. Same thing with the Wyatt family. And when they collided together, it was just amazing. Couldn't I couldn't just I couldn't get any over any over it. It was just awesome. There was just nothing bad to say about that. Um, so going from the Wyatt family to transition all the way to bringing Braun Strowman into the mix and Braun Strowman comes in as the black sheep meanwhile you have Eric Rowan you have Luke Harper rest in peace Brody Lee um, and you have the whole Wyatt family together an unstoppable force they did everything they could to keep you wondering who was going to stop them but Bray Wyatt was just the mind manipulator this man had the brain. He knew exactly what to do to get in the head of his opponents. The mind games, the promos, the weird segments that they had going on backstage, this, the backstage attacks, everything that they had up until that point was just amazing. There's really nothing bad you can say about Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt was just an awesome wrestler in itself. Okay, the man was just not only great on the mic, he was just fantastic in the ring too. When they let that man perform, he fucking did his thing and he performed. And he, and he entertained the, all the fans, he made us happy. It was, it was great. Fast forward to, I don't know what year it was, I think it was 2016, I believe, or 2017. Elimination Chamber, you had Bray Wyatt, I don't remember the other names that were in this match. Bray Wyatt, John Cena, AJ Styles. Um, I don't know who else was in the match. I can't remember the top of my head. But AJ Styles was the last one in the match with Bray Wyatt. And it was a very, very special moment for all the Bray Wyatt fans. And that was the night that they pulled the trigger. And Bray Wyatt won his first WWE Championship. And it was just an amazing sight to see. An amazing moment overall. Nothing that we'll ever forget. We will never forget that moment. It was fantastic. It lived up to the hype. And I'm sure a lot of fans weren't expecting it for it to happen. And when it happened, it happened. And we were like, holy shit, Bray Wyatt is champion. Not a lot of people were happy about it at the time. But I guarantee you, now that Bray Wyatt's gone, which really uh, breaks my heart to say, but now that Bray Wyatt's gone, um, a lot of people who weren't a fan of him before are generally hope that they're gonna go back and they're gonna re-watch Bray Wyatt's best moments, best matches, best promos up into the day that he left, which was that last promo he did on that one SmackDown earlier this year before he left. He had his match with LA Knight at the Royal Rumble. And that was the very last time that we had a match. He would show up, he would have promos. He was just he was just an amazing person overall. And just, yeah, afterwards he was gone. And from that moment in time, we didn't know what happened to him. And then that's when they revealed that he has some type of sickness going on. So, you know, we were all just praying for him to get better and Everything was getting better up until that point. He, there were, fans were showing pictures of Bray Wyatt that they would just run into him in public at random spots and states or whatever in public. And you could tell that Bray Wyatt was definitely getting in better shape than what he was before. The man was bulking. He, he, his arms were looking bigger. He was looking a lot more uh, lean as well. So he was, in, he was getting in really good condition to come back into the ring. And then just all of a sudden, out of nowhere, they announced his passing today. And it was just, it was terrible, man. But um, I was really, there's really not much I can say about this. I wanted to make this quick little video, just to let you know what I personally thought about Bray Wyatt being a part of World Wrestling Entertainment and just genuinely being a part of the wrestling industry overall. And for us to actually experience what the character brings and the man himself Winham Rotunda um, I mean so much man so much has happened since his first time in WWE so the moment he came in with the Wyatt family 
you know, everything like I mentioned before, the Firefly Funhouse, The Fiend, you had um, Uncle Howdy. Well, we knew that was probably his brother, Bo Dallas, but still Uncle Howdy was just part of the whole presence in itself with Bray Wyatt. Um, and then, you know, obviously him winning the WWE Championship, uh, his feud with the Wyatt family, or his feud with the Shield. I mean, the guy did it all, man. Bray Wyatt was just an amazing individual. I really wish I would have got the moment to meet him in person. If you ever did a meet and greet, I would have loved to go meet him in person. A lot of fans generally loved him, and they said he was the most kind person, the most humble person that you'll ever come across um, outside of the ring. And you can generally tell this man was happy at what he was doing. He was. He, he loved his job. He loved his fans. He loved everything about the wrestling industry in itself. And he, he, loved, he loved performing for all of us. He did everything that he could to entertain us. And he did just that. And now that he's up there, reunited with Brody Lee, he's no longer in pain. He's, uh, he's recovering up there with the angels. So uh, heaven has gained another angel today. So rest in peace, Bray Wyatt, Winham, Rotunda. Let me know what you guys thought about Bray Wyatt, what you generally feel, what was your favorite moment, what was your favorite match, what was your favorite promo, what was the one thing that you could remember about Bray Wyatt, the character, the wrestler, the person? What is one thing that you can remember about Bray Wyatt? Let me know. So that's what I wanted to come out here and say. Um, once again, rest in peace, Bray Wyatt, another incredible talent gone unexpectedly. Just, I'm shocked, man. I, I have no, I have no other words to say. It's terrible, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Ryan Winchester and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night. Rest in peace, Bray Wyatt. Peace.